गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स अगेन स्टार्ट आवर बॉटनी कॉन्सेप्ट रेमेनिंग कॉन्सेप्ट आर चैप्टर ऑफ द सेल द यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ अप टू टुडे वी डिस्कस इट वेरियस ऑर्गेनल्स एंड टुडे इज द टाइम टू डिस्कस सिलिया एंड फ्लाजेला सिलिया एंड फ्लाजेला most of the organisms especially lower organisms have this cilia and flagella as a locomotory organs and these are nothing but small hair like outgrowths from the surface of the cells they are the small hair like rod shaped structures arising from the cell membrane and these are attached to the basal body basal body are formed by the centrioles and these basal bodies give rise to this cilium as well as flagellum singular form of cilia is a cilium and singular form of the flagella is a flagellum okay and cilia and flagella were discovered by flagella were discovered by engelmann in the year 1867 first time observed by discovered by a scientist called as engelmann then where we can obtain this where we can find this cilia and flagella in which area do we find this cilia and flagella cilia are found in ciliated protozoans ciliated protozoan which is that one paramecium paramecium okay cilia are also found in respiratory tract in the form of what ciliated epithelium in our respiratory tract we find large number of cilia in the form of ciliated epithelium okay also found in nephrons of kidneys nephrons also found in those parts of green algae and some male gametes of higher plants male gametes of higher plants in the form of anthrozoites anthrozoites also containing large number of or 2 to 9 number of flagella at the surface which are motile in nature okay all motile gametes or the spore those spores of the green algae especially chlamydomonas having the flagella you will also have the flagella as a locomotor okay and this flagella are made up of flagella are made up of three components basal body hook and filament they are made up of three components basal body hook and filament now we we'll discuss the structure ultra structure of this cilia and flagella ultra structure of the cilia and flagella so these are covered by a plasma membrane but they are arising from the basal body which present just inside the plasma membrane they run along the plasma membrane they are covered by the plasma membrane but they are arising from the basal body means basal bodies are present just below the plasma membrane okay now we'll structure we'll discuss the structure of the cilia and flagella
See here, this is the structure of ciliated flagella. This is called as plasma membrane. Plasma membrane. And here we find peripheral, peripheral microtubules, peripheral. Micro tubules, inter doublet bridge. This black one are the radial spokes, and it is a central sheath. And these are the Central micro tubules. Central micro tubules. And here we will find arms. Two to three arms will arise from tubule A. The big arms. See here, each ciliar flagella is elongated one, and that is made up of nine plus two means totally eleven microtubules. All these microtubules run parallelly and arranged evenly, and they are arranged in the form of nine plus two array. Okay, here we look. A transverse section of one cilium flagella. There we are finding all these microtubules are in the form of nine plus two array. See here, the outer covering or covering sheet of this ciliate flagella is the plasma membrane. That plasma membrane also membrane also run through the microtubules. That membrane runs or membrane completely cover the microtubules. And microtubules 
which are present in this 9 plus 2 array, these 9 peripheral microtubules and two central microtubules, radial spokes, collectively called as axoni. Collectively called as axoni. Then how to define this axoni? Axoni is the central core of the cilium flagella. What is axoni? The central core of the cilia and flagella made up of 9 plus 2 means totally 11 microtubules. Made up of 11 microtubules. Okay, 9 microtubules are in peripheral manner and 2 are at the center. Okay, let's call as axoni. Outermost covering is a plasma membrane. Covering sheath is a plasma membrane. But the central core, okay, central portion is called what? Axoni. You will ask what is axonium? Axonium is central core of the cilia and flagella. Made up of 9 peripheral and 2 central microtubules. 2 central microtubules. Okay. Then we will discuss about the peripheral microtubules. There are 9 peripheral microtubules, 9 peripheral microtubules and each microtubule present in the form of its doublet, each present in the form of doublet. See this is the microtubule A, means there are two subunits of each microtubules, subunits A and B. First one is A and one more is B, there are two subunits of the Micro tubules. Okay, this is one micro tubule into having two subunits, subunit A and subunit B. Okay, each subunit is made up of number of number of globular protein molecules called as Prototubules. Here A is made up of 13, 13 protofilaments. 13 protofilaments. It is made up of what? 13 protofilaments. The filaments made up of proteins called as protofilaments. And the B, one more subunit called as B is made up of 10 protofilaments. 10 protofilaments. A is made up of 13. A is made up of 13 protofilaments. And B is made up of 10 protofilaments. 10 protofilaments. And these protofilaments are nothing but they are made up of the protein. Protein called as tubulin. Is protein tubulin. These peripheral microtubules are present in the form of doublets. Each doublet having two subunits. Remember, two subunits, and they are named as a subunit A and subunit B. Subunit A is made up of 13 protofilaments, means the filaments made up of protein. Which protein? Protein tubulin. Okay, whereas subunit B is made up of 10 protofilaments. How many? 10. Okay, and these are also made up of protein tubulin. And these are connected by each other through the interdoublet bridge. You're finding a green colored bridge that is also a proteinaceous bridge and that is meant for the coordinated movement or coordinated work of the all microtubules. So inter interdoublet bridge is made up of uh, made for what? Coordinated function of the micro tubules. Okay. And here we are finding black color structures called as radial spokes. Radial spokes. These arise from the central sheath and connect all the nine, all the nine peripheral micro tubules. This connect what? All nine micro peripheral micro tubules. And these are called as Radial spokes, they arrange radially from the central sheath or central sheath or central filaments to peripheral microfilaments. Okay, they are called as radial spokes and their number also 9. Whereas we are finding the 9 peripheral microtubules, the same number of 
radial slopes are also found in this cilian flagellate and coming to the some arms also made up of uh, proteins these arms meant for the other enzymatic function of the ciliary flagella okay these arms are meant for what enzymatic activity of ciliary flagella coming to the central sheets in central sheet we find two microtubules two microtubules called as central microtubules they are called what central microtubules okay they are arranged at the center okay and these are made up of these are made up of these are made up of 13 protofilaments they are made up of 13 protofilaments okay and these 13 protofilaments are made up of different different protein called as dyne protein called as dyne peripheral microtubules are made up of the protein called as tubulin whereas the central the central core sorry central sheath have two microtubules called as central microtubules and these are made up of these are made up of these are made up of one more protein called as dyne okay remember central microtubules are made up of dyne and peripheral microtubules are made up of tubulin okay then coming to their size each microtubule is about 250 angstrom in its diameter about 250 angstrom means their diameter is diameter of each microtubule is about 250 angstrom okay then all these together for involve in a function of the ciliary and flagella okay you will find plasma membrane that completely covers all the microtubules and we find nine peripheral microtubules and all these are connected through the interconnect interdoublet bridge are connected by interdoublet bridge okay and these are going to connect with the central sheath through the readily arranged proteinaceous tubules called as radial spokes you will find the head of the radial spoke and it is a tail laser and these radial spokes connect the central sheath with the peripheral microtubules for coordinated function and at center we find two microtubules called as central microtubules and these are made up of a protein called as dyne and these are meant for the because they are providing the atp for the energy of this ciliary flagella they provide the atp as a energy currency for the moment of or function of the ciliary flagella so, so those proteins are present in the central sheath in the form of dyne okay then the ciliary flagella of prokaryotes are different from the eukaryotes okay structurally they are different from the eukaryotes in eukaryotes you find 9 plus 2 are but in case of prokaryotes you find only nine peripheral microtubules the central microtubules are absent in the prokaryotes okay they are only present in the eukaryotic ciliary flagella remember eukaryotic ciliary flagella differ from the prokaryotic ciliary okay so this is structure of cilia and flagella okay we'll discuss function of cilia and flagella function function of cilia and flagella main function is locomotion main function of cilia and flagella is locomotion most of the flagellated protozoans and those spores use this flagella as a locomotory organs movement of the cilia or movement of the flagella make them to move towards their prey or move towards the uh, any other species or they may land in the fluid present uh, surrounding to their nest okay are they land means they will invade the fluid or they move towards the other materials that is locomotion 
in some chelated and flagellated protozoans okay and in case of our respiratory tract respiratory tract this meant for avoiding what avoiding dust particles do not allow the dust particles to enter into our lungs okay i in nephrons cilia present in our nephrons filters filters the excretory products okay in fallopian tubes in fallopian tubes of female these cilia are helps in movement of movement of ovum during fertilization the movement of egg or female gamete or ovum during the fertilization so there are various functions of the cilia as well as flagella okay flagella meant for locomotion as well as other functions of the lower organisms whereas cilia is present in our body human body meant for the avoiding the dust particles to enter the respiratory tract and in nephrons they filter the excretory products in fallopian tubes of the female they allow the movement of ovum so this is the main function of cilia and flagella and these are arising from arising from what basal bodies basal bodies of centrioles centrioles form the basal bodies in the cells and these arising from the centrioles basal bodies of the centrioles these are formed by the basal bodies of centrioles okay this is everything about cilia and flagella remember the exonym remember the peripheral microtubules remember the central microtubules remember the radial spokes and their chemical composition remember these two proteins tubulin and dynein tubulin present in the peripheral microtubules and dynein present in the central microtubules okay and remember their functions and remember their origin also occurs okay next one we have next organelle which is only present in the animal cell called as centriole discuss the centriole centrioles are the non membrane bound organelles present in the animal cells present in what animal cells absent in prokaryotes absent in plant cells these centrioles are not present in the plant cells and the function of centrioles in the plant cell is performed by the microtubules present in the cytoplasm okay microtubules when they are uh, react with the calcium ions they perform the function of the centrioles in the plant cells so animal cells having this centrioles then these are discovered by benedetti discovered by benedetti in the year 1880 okay boveri and benedetti together discovered the uh, centrioles in the animal cells in the year called as 1880 okay and the centrioles are uh, have two components two parts called as sorry central the main heading is centrosome okay centrosome made up of two components centriole centrioles i centrosphere there are two components centrosomes are made up of two components centrioles and centrosphere okay centrioles are 
2 in number each centrosome having two centrioles and both these centrioles arrange in perpendicular manner both are arranged in perpendicular direction if this is a one centriole this is one centriole okay one more centriole will be just perpendicular to this previous centriole so this is one more centriole okay both lies perpendicular to each other and each one forms a cart wheel like structure each centriole form cart feel like structure okay if you dissect each centriole we find cart feel like structure okay like this okay this is a cart feel like appearance of the centriole okay now we'll discuss one more number called as centrosphere so what is this centrosphere okay centrosphere simply covers the centrioles we find amorphous proteinaceous particles just around the around the centrioles called as centrosphere okay amorphous proteinaceous particles cover the centrioles called as centrospheres okay usually these lacking the membrane in ciliary flagella we find a plasma membrane but here that membrane is absent these are non membrane bound organelles okay but these are simply covered by amorphous powdery material or proteinaceous material called as centrosphere okay it is not a membrane it is only amorphous powder like structure okay that is centrosphere centrioles and centrospheres together form a centrosome centrioles and centrosphere together form a centrosome okay now we we'll discuss the structure of centrosome or centrioles structure of the centrioles Thank you. 
So this is the transfer section or structure of the centriole, one of the centriole. Here, centrioles are also made up of nine peripheral microtubules. The difference between cilia and flagellae and this centriole is these peripheral microtubules are triplet in nature. They are triplet in nature. They will find found doublets. Here we find triplets. Okay. And these peripheral microtubules are made up of three subunits, subunit A, subunit B, and subunit C. This is A, B, and C. Okay. Each peripheral microtubule is made up of three subunits, means they are triplet in nature. Okay. Here we find A, B, C. This blue one is A. Red one is B and this green one is C. They are the three subunits of each microtubule that is in the form of triplet. Okay. A is made up of about 30, about 30 protofilaments. Protofilaments. A is made up of 30 protofilaments and B is made up of 10 protofilaments and C also made up of 10 protofilaments. Okay, there are three subunits, subunit A, B and C. Okay, A is made up of 30, B is made up of 10 and C also made up of 10 protofilaments. Protofilaments and these protofilaments are made up of the protein called as tubuli. Protein called as tubuli. Okay. And here, these are arranged in such a manner, they are arranged, they are oriented in 45 degree angle. They are oriented in 45 degree angle. And the tube C of, a subunit C of one microtubule connect with the A of next microtubule. This red air mark is nothing but inter triplet bridge. So this inter triplet bridge connect the subunit C of the one microtubule with that subunit A. Again, this C with A. Again, they form a 45 degree angle while connecting the two microtubules. And this connection is required for the coordinated <coughs> function of this centers. Okay. And these peripheral nine microtubules get connect with the central core called as central portion called as hub. So here we are not finding any microtubules, a single microtubular structure that is called as hub. It is also made up of the protein called as tubulin. So this is called as a central tubule, a central portion of the centrioles called as hub. It is also made up of protein called as tubulin. And this hub is connected with the all nine peripheral triplets through a readily arranged tubules called as radial spokes. They are called as radial spokes. So these radial spokes having a head towards the peripheral microtubules and tail towards the hub. Okay. And this connects all the nine peripheral microtubules with the central region called as hub. So everything in medical proteins 
and this entire structure is covered by the central sphere it is only amorphous proteinaceous structure it is not a membrane simply the cover that held the all peripheral as well as central microtubules okay then these centrioles run parallelly up to certain regions and they lie perpendicular to another centriole so these microtubules run parallelly each other they are arranged evenly and arranged perpendicular to the another centriole and the centriole okay then what is the function of these centrioles what is the function of centrioles function of centrioles okay these centrioles provide provide basal body for cilia and flagella they provide what basal body for cilia and flagella okay and this form mitotic spindle mitotic spindles during this form what mitotic spindles during the cell division during cell division in animal cells in animal cells <coughs> these centers for what mitotic spindles during the cell division in animal cells okay in plants cell division occurs by the formation of spindle fibers but they are simply microtubules but here they are the what are called centrioles these centrioles provide the spindle fiber see this is a a dividing cell you will find arranged chromosomes at the center in the metaphase stage they are the chromosomes okay this is one more centriole this is one centriole these provide the spindle fibers these are the spindle fibers called as mitotic spindles so these spindle fibers pull the chromosomes towards the opposite poles they pull the chromosomes towards the opposite poles hence these are involved in the cell division they separate the chromosomes into two equal daughter cells okay so this is nothing but mitotic spindles and these spindles are required in the cell division in the animal cells in plants is also we find the microtubules and those react to the calcium ions they form a spindle fibers in the plant cells but in animal cells we have a mitotic spindles these are called by the our centrioles so this is everything about centriole remember this diagram remember various components of this diagram okay tomorrow we'll discuss one more organelle called as nucleus and chromosomes thank you